don't those look scrumptious? Wow. Hello. This is Char from The Real Kitchen for Real People. And I trust that everyone is doing and feeling well. Today I would like to feature chocolate chip coconut pecan cookies. And the first thing you will need to do is combine two and a fourth cup of flour in a bowl, a small bowl, and I've already put this in the bowl, and then put one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt, and just stir that all together in a small bowl. Okay, once it's stirred, you're gonna set it aside, turn your oven to 375, preheat it to 375, and then in this bowl, separate bowl, you will have two sticks of soft butter, which I've already put it in this bowl. And the reason why I do this is because I'm limited on space here. So I have a small kitchen, so I'm limited on space. So I try to combine things and let you know what I've combined. So like I said, I have two sticks of soft butter in the yellow bowl. And then in this bowl, I have uh, combined three-fourth cup of brown sugar and three-fourth cup of white sugar. And I'm going to put that into the bowl to eliminate so many bowls. And I'll set that aside. Okay. And I will show you what other ingredients I have before I start blending the sugar and butter mixture. I have, uh, you're going to use a, a cup of chopped pecans. You're going to have a cup of your chocolate chip semi-sweet uh, chips. Semi-sweet, uh, the 100% real chocolate semi-sweet chocolate chips okay and then you're gonna have a half of cup of your sweetened coconut shredded you're gonna get two large eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla bean or vanilla extract or flavoring so it's real simple it's not that many ingredients but what I'm gonna do now is blend my butter and my sugar together and I'm gonna blend it with my hand beat blender so it'll be kind of loud so I'm not gonna be recording that because you wouldn't be able to hear me but I'm gonna blend it and then I'll come back and let you know what it looks like okay this is what it'll look like but I'm gonna scrape my sides around Still kind of grainy, so I'm just gonna continue blending till it's nice and super creamy. And right now, I'm going to add my vanilla. And then I'm gonna continue blending. Okay, now this is what your batter would look like. About three minutes of beating. Okay. Now we're going to add our eggs one at a time and beat about a minute after each one. So we're going to add one egg and then beat. Okay, we're going to add the other egg. And I always crack my eggs in a bowl before using them because you never know when you may get a bad egg or something and you don't want to just mess up your whole recipe by cracking it in your uh, ingredients so always put your egg crack your egg prior to using them in a bowl to make sure they're good so I'm gonna blend this last egg in the batter okay now that I've blended the eggs in I'm gonna add my flour to the mixture a little bit at a time I don't want a, a flour ball flowing on my face so I'll just a little bit at a time to keep from the flour flowing all over your kitchen 
So I'm going to blend this as well. Blend it all a little bit, adding a little bit at the time. So I'll come back when I've blended it all so you don't have to hear the loud blender. Be sure to scrape your sides after each blend. All right, this is your batter. After you added all of your flour in there slowly, I always give it a last stir before I add my uh, pecans and coconut and all the goodies in there. And you can put walnuts if you prefer not to use pecans, whatever. You can make it your own spin, but this is the baseline right here. And you can just start adding what you want. But today, we're going to add the coconut in. That's a half a cup of coconut. I'm going to stir it in from now on. I'm stirring all of these added ingredients in. So you want to stir that in. Okay. And now you want to stir in your chips. That is one cup of chocolate chips. And you can add more if you like. You can add more chocolate chips if you like. Add those in. Stir. And then now I'm going to add in a cup of of pecans. You want to add those in and of course you can add more if you want like I said. Now we're going to stir these in. And the batter is kind of thick so it's best to use a wooden spoon to me. It's, it's a little bit more sturdier and easier to, for your stirs easier on you. Don't that look good already? Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to add just a little more pecans. My family loves pecans. So, add a little more pecans to it. Give it a good stir all those goodies mixed in there and these really make good Christmas gifts uh, just homemade cookies anything homemade is just something about getting a homemade uh, gift at Christmas or really anytime so just mix that in good okay now you're gonna spoon your uh, cookie dough by probably like a tablespoon size onto an ungreased baking sheet or you can use parchment paper like I have and you're going to bake those for 9 to, 9 to 11 minutes or until they're golden brown around the bottom okay and then I'll show you what's next after they finish but right now let's Put them on the cookie sheet. And it'll be about a, like a tablespoon like that. And you just drop them on your cookie sheet. You can use a, a ice cream scooper as well. So do that until your sheet is complete. And this recipe will make up to like four to five dozen, so depending on the size you you want. So these are pretty good size. So, but anyway, I'll be back when these are all ready to go in the oven. Okay, I got twelve uh, balls on here. I'll do twelve at a time, but uh, I'm just going to show you this first twelve. So. You can do whatever you want with your batter that's left. You can put it in the refrigerator and save it in for later. Or you can do them all at one time. But right now I'm getting ready to put these 12 in the oven. Preheated oven at 375. And I'm going to cook them for about 9 to 
11 minutes until it's brown around the edges. So when they're done, I'll be back. Okay, now that my cookies are done, I'm gonna let them sit for about a minute or two, and then I'll put them on a cookie rack to cool. Mmm, don't those look scrumptious? Wow. 